Hi there, it's Rob Hatch, and this is Simple Decisions. Rituals in action. I want to talk today about the difference between rituals and routines. Both can be very good for us, by the way, but um, the difference between a ritual and a routine is the purpose behind it, the mindset behind it, the what it does to set us in the right mindset to approach something. So, for example, one of the things that I used to do when I was uh, competing in triathlons was I would list out all of the steps in the transitional moments. So this is also a great opportunity for an application of rituals, is in the transitional moments, just before you're about to do something, embark on something. This is when the rituals can be really enormously helpful. The routine part of that <clears throat> transition, when I would say get out of my wetsuit from the swim and start to get on the bike, is that there were certain pieces of equipment that were already laid out, so I'd put success in my way by having everything that I needed there. I would pack and repack and unpack or lay out all of the, the elements that I needed to facilitate that transition going as smoothly and as efficiently as possible. And I, so I would lay out, you know, I had to, to put my helmet on, I had to put my shoes on, I had to put my gloves on. I don't remember the order in which I laid it out now, but there were a set of, there was a, a set order to that transition, the things that I wanted to make sure that I put, um, out and put on so that I could move into the bike ride portion. So that's a routine. I would just observe all of the pieces, write it all down, practice it so that anytime I would go out for a ride as I was leading up to the race, anytime I would go out for, for a ride, I would have all of that prepared so that I could begin to practice the routine and get that sort of ingrained and get faster and faster, putting on the gloves, putting on my shoes. It was all part of that process. The ritual aspect of it, when it becomes ritualized, is when we have used that routine to the point where it's almost second nature and we use it to put us in the right mindset to approach that very specific and difficult task that we're about to face. Because I had put success in my way, because I had thought very carefully about the routine that I needed to go through to be prepared, I didn't have to worry anymore. I was able to free myself of that and use that process almost as a meditation to get myself ready and have the right mindset to approach something hard. If you watch someone like Serena Williams, uh, what, just before she's about to serve, she bounces the ball five times, I think it is. She's done this, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of times, right before she um, embarks on a serve. That's part routine, but also part ritual. It's a mindset inducing habit that she uses. It sets things up so she can kind of focus. She doesn't have to worry one, two, three, four, five. It gives her just enough time to think about what she's about to do, get in the right mindset, and then do it. So this is one of the ways that we can use rituals is to think about those transitional moments, the, the moments just before we're about to enter or start something that's really important. What are some of the things that you want to walk yourself through, the routine that you want to walk yourself through that will help you be in the right mindset to approach that work? I'm Rob Hatch, and this is Simple Decisions.